Ah, November. The time of year that seasonally appropriate weather trend is in the air. Be advised, the closest national holiday is right around the corner, and people stop each other on the street to say... Our point is ours. Everyone is swept up in the same spirit of... <laughs> and everyone is happily playing the latest Call of Duty game. Going explosive! Get MSG! Black Ops 2 is here, and it's time for the Gun Show. The show that doesn't care if it's a yearly installment, as long as it's got guns in it. In this episode, we're wading into the new Pick 10 system to craft a few custom loadouts that all you discerning, tactical, and crazy go nuts loco Gun Show fans are going to love and appreciate. Because when you get down to it, isn't Call of Duty all about love and appreciation? No. No, it is not. So repress those sentimental feelings and get ready for... The Gun Show! Let's start off with something everyone likes to do in Call of Duty multiplayer. Run around the level pell-mell, blasting any bad guys you come across right in the face. This loadout is dubbed the Daniel Boom, in honor of the American frontiersman and folk hero, and also because explosions. To start, grab one of the flashiest new firearms in Black Ops 2, the M1216 shotgun. This fully auto-magic monster belches out a fast four rounds, and then quickly rechambers to do it all again. Pa -pa -pa pow That is awesome. Give yourself a laser sight to help get this beauty pointed in the right direction, and add a long barrel to compensate for its pitifully short range. With the ghost and extreme conditioning perks, you're ready to hunt your close-range quarry. But what about the game you stalk from afar? Stash this crossbow in your rucksack with a dual-band scope to help you identify your prey, and you're ready to tame the wilds of this swanky, rich person house. Explosive bolts put the boom in Daniel Boom, and the long second between stick and splosion puts a smile on your face. If spiting your foes makes you merry, then consider this next loadout perfectly gift-wrapped just for you. It's called the Grinch, and it steals Christmas. Did your enemies float a Dragonfire drone up in your airspace? Rain on that parade with your LMG of choice, outfitted with an extended clip and FMJ bullets that deal extra damage to score streaks. Skies filling with UAVs, care package deliveries, counter UAVs, or stealth choppers? Pop those birthday balloons with the FHJ-18AA launcher. Enemy littering the ground with explosive traps? Spot them with your engineer perk and send them to bed without any dessert. You can also whip out your Black Hat Tactical PDA and quote famous curmudgeons as you wreak havoc on enemy equipment. The gun show suggests, Bah humbug, when destroying airborne assets, and when outright stealing enemy equipment, I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. Oh, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. RCXD ready for deployment. Now, if stealing enemy equipment starts to feel a bit too reactive, why not get proactive and go deep behind enemy lines? The Makilla Gorilla sneaks across the border with the help of the Ghost perk, then goes to work. The Danger Close wildcard lets you take two lethals, whether that's two Claymores or two Bouncing Betty's, well, that's up to you. Bring two shock charges as well to boost your booby trap inventory up to four and equip the scavenger perk for a chance to replenish while in country. The SMG of your choosing will silence anyone who discovers your trespasses and the handy hit marker that shows in your reticle whenever someone triggers your shock charge will help you know where to smite those that trespass against you. The Makilla Gorilla doesn't like to be spotted by enemies, but the come at me bro loves it. I mean look, it's right there in the name. Now, the key to the come at me bro is understanding the assault shield from your enemy's perspective. Seeing someone actually walking around with that weaponized car door, it's like having someone pee on your shoes. At first, you're just stunned. I can't believe this is actually happening to me. I mean, I always knew it was a possibility, I mean, anything's possible, but now that I'm literally being peed on, I'm just stunned, I'm shocked, I'm flabbergasted. Then, you become wildly enraged. I'ma get you, you mictrating son of a bitch! You're gonna wish you never ever peed in your whole life! The flak jacket and tactical mask perks help you deal with the rage phase, but it's the stunned phase you want to take advantage of. While they're temporarily bamboozled, stick them with a combat axe. Zap them with a shock charge. Heck, hit them with the shield. You've got a small window of opportunity here, and the fast hands perk is gonna help you take advantage of it. The come at me bro is daring, 
But just to show that we're not all the way crazy, yet, the Gun Show also recommends the Overkill wildcard to let you pack a Scorpion Evo SMG with a laser sight. After all, we wouldn't want you to go into combat without any guns now, would we? <laughs> Foreshadowing! Another kill! Now, maybe some of these kits strike you as a bit outlandish, and maybe you just want a good old-fashioned loadout that you can set your watch by. Sure, fine, we get it. Check out the Sniper Snipo. SVUAS with dual band scope or variable zoom to help you acquire your target, and the ballistic CPU to help keep your hand steady. If you're gonna go out on the town, best pack a Cap 40 sidearm with a laser sight, in case you encounter any unsavory characters. Such and such perks can also help you blah blah blah, and, you know, I'm sorry, I'm just phoning it in here. I mean, yeah, the sniper snipo is effective, but come on, this is Black Ops 2! It's the future! You're not that stuffy old sniper you used to be, you're on the cutting edge. You're an innovator, a trendsetter. You don't follow the herd, you lead the pack by using one of the gun show's new I Can't Believe It's Not Sniper loadouts. Patent pending. I Can't Believe It's Not Sniper comes in two deliciously deadly flavors. The first, Creamy Assault Rifle, features the SMR, which boasts the longest range and highest damage in its class. FMJ bumps that damage up even higher, while the Hybrid Optic helps you handle enemies both near and far. Or go for the Select Fire, and choose on the fly whether single shot or automatic fire suits your fancy. I Can't Believe It's Not Sniper also comes in Spicy Shotgun. This single slug KSG is the main ingredient here, blasting one lone bullet longer than you ever thought possible from a shotgun, thanks to the addition of the long barrel attachment. This fiery little devil delivers all the satisfaction of killing your opponent in one shot, with none of the bulky attachments of those other guys. I can't believe it's not Sniper. Loadouts for the future, today. If this kind of avant-garde loadout intrigues you, then this final loadout will really be a slice. It cuts up all previous expectations for what a loadout can be, and points you in a whole new direction. <laughs> Wanna take a stab at guessing what it is? It's the knife to meet you loadout! <laughs> ah, puns. Seriously though, this thing is crazy. No guns, three perk greed wildcards, six perks. Technically that still leaves a slot open for a gun or a secondary weapon, but you should take a combat axe instead. The true Black Ops 2 survivalist subsists on only what he can hunt and kill. Lightweight, ghost, cold-blooded, extreme conditioning, dead silence, all of these perks will allow you to sneak up on your foes undetected. Once you've taken your victim, scavenge that gun and wreak some overperked havoc. You are now the Apex Predator, a wolf among sheep, a genetically modified super soldier with only one mission. Kill! Kill! Grab that rag on a stick! And kill! And with that, dear viewer, you've taken another unsettling look into the minds behind the gun show and cannot help but come away a changed person. What you do with your newfound Black Ops 2 perspective is up to you, but let us know how it goes, okay? Leave your killer loadout suggestions in the comments below, and hey, thanks for watching The Gun Show.